Could you tell us why you have entered the North Korean embassy in Madrid in February 2019? I entered the, the, the embassy in Spain uh, in February 2019 because um, I was asked to help um, people inside the embassy defect. And I was told that these people wanted to seek a better life uh, and wanted to um, have a better life for their children. And so um, I was asked to help, um, and um, I decided to, to do so. You helped Mr. Kim Han Sol escape from Macau two days after his father Kim Jong Nam's death in Malaysia Airport. How did you get involved? Uh, at the time, um, I was on vacation uh, in the Philippines, in Manila, when, um, when the entire incident happened. And so when Han Sol reached out to uh, Adrian, um, Adrian called me to ask um, if I would be able to help, and specifically because I was in the Philippines and only three hours away. And so I was physically close to him, um, and um, I agreed to help. We've seen uh, the photo of you and uh, Mr. Kim Han Sol. Could you tell us how you came up with this photo and what kind of conversation you had? I was asked to take a photo uh, with Han Sol uh, so that we would have some type of photographic evidence that we were there to help him. Um, but my time with uh, Han Sol was um, a good one. He was, uh, I, I don't really know much about him personally. Um, but obviously I know about his family. But at the time, he was a young man who was trying to save his family's life and who was told that there were people that were coming to hurt him and his family. And so for me, at that moment, it didn't matter that he was a grandson of, of Kim Il-sung or that he is where his place on the hierarchy of the North Korean government is. When I was with him, he was a young man who needed help and was trying to keep his family safe. And in that way, um, I have no problems and I have no qualms uh, in helping someone like him. Your life is threatened uh, by North Koreans. Um, do you have any regrets? I don't have any regrets in trying to help people uh, who asked to, to have their lives saved. Um, I also understand why um, those parties involved have to say what they are saying. Um, I don't have any animosity toward uh, any North Korean uh, in the embassy. I don't have any animosity toward anyone in, in the United States uh, court system or the judge or the prosecution. They're simply just doing their jobs. The only regret that I have is that if this in any way um, discourages uh, uh, people from wanting to defect to North Korea or the amount of pain and, and, and anxiousness and hurt that I've caused my family um, because I was involved in that, I, I'm very regretful of that. But in terms of my actions uh, and, and willingness and, and trying to help those who who asked to be helped because their lives were at risk. Um, I don't necessarily have any regrets on that. Do you think North Koreans could really come and get you? I think that to underestimate the threat and the danger that North Korea presents both to me and to anyone else uh, would be foolish. Um, I've been told by the FBI that, um, that I need to be vigilant and that my life and the life of my family uh, is in danger. And so I think it would be uh, foolish of me to underestimate this danger. Um, they've also told me that I need to do whatever I can to stay within the United States because the United States is the most safest place for me. But ironically, it's the same Justice Department that is now trying to extradite me to Spain where my risk of assassination um, is raised exponentially. What are some of the things that you are doing now? Uh, because the court has ordered that I cannot um, have any weapons um, while out on bail, um, I'm just doing the things that um, every average American would do uh, to protect themselves. So I have cameras um, and 
um, I have the police on speed dial. And so that's the best that I can do. How do you control your fears? Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's not as hard, um, but I try to focus on what's most important. And what's most important is my family, my wife, my mother, my grandmother, my brother, and all the friends and family that support me. And so as long as I know I have their support um, and those who support me, um, you know, I'll be okay.